guys welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title in today's video I'm gonna talk about how I passed my board exams in one go so if you're interested stick around as you know with ultrasound it has multiple parts which sucks honestly like other professions they have one exam and it's done we have to go through a series of exams for each specialty and these are not short short exams like they're long like one of my exams echo was 140 questions abdomen was 165 questions it's a lot of questions and oh all right i'm gonna talk about my experience but anyways i passed and i'm just excited that that's out the way because once i finished the program i was like so happy but then it's like you come to the realization that you're now gonna have to study for these board exams which is like everything from the past two years and you're just like why basically i'd be lying if i said these exams were hard and it's just gonna be a walk in the park like a piece of cake just study you know everything and it's fine like no it was it was so hard i'm not even gonna lie and i'm not saying this to scare anyone but it's just the reality of things and it's like you guys need to prepare like intense like do some intense preparations for these exams because it's no joke and i am a good test taker for the most part but these exams i did well but i felt like i felt like i failed and throughout the entire exam like i was having like a basically a panic attack <laughs> during those exams because i'm just like what in the world is this like i studied so much and they're asking all these hard questions and i'm just like all right what a waste of my time <laughs> okay so since that exam was like weird and just like i don't even know how to describe it i'm gonna give you guys the best tips i could have come up with um what i would say is don't try and focus on taking like a bunch of like practice exams and like yes that helps but you need to focus on like grasping the information like understanding every single thing because what happens is the way you're used to your teacher's testing class or from the little books that you buy it's like completely different so you need to understand the concept so that when they throw it at you in a different way you're able to like backtrack and be like okay this is this is how you answer it because it's nothing like what you've seen like well at least that's how my experience was throughout the entire two years those exams like probably like 10 percent of the questions were familiar the rest of them were just like what are you even asking me and like the pictures even the pictures were just like I've never seen this picture in a textbook in class nothing focus on the quality of studying so that you're able to like look at these questions and then answer them to the best of your ability because trust me only a few of them are familiar questions or things that you've studied and they they emphasize in your head over the years like down pat like you're not gonna see a question as simple as what's that in the live what i mean what's that in the gallbladder oh it's gallstones or polyps okay does it move when the patient turns lld like it's not as simple as that they they ask all these other connections with the questions which is i don't even remember them but anyways so that's my number one tip is to focus on grasping the concepts and knowing exactly what you're studying how to connect it to different things why if something happens what else will happen for example like the type of jaundice you have pre pre-hepatic hepatic and post-hepatic jaundice we just learned jaundice is jaundice but they'll ask you something like oh if there is a a stone in the pancreatic head which type of jaundice is that oh, okay it's obstruction so it's gonna be post-hepatic jaundice it's insane it's insane because we never went into depth about that like on that so it's just it's just it's just just really weird that's why i'm emphasizing that you have to know each concept inside out to be able to answer the questions accurately because there's no possible way that if i didn't go over that mind you it is mentioned in the textbook or in our notes but it's just something that you wouldn't think they would get down to the nitty the nitty gritty asking about that so 
And this is this is probably an, an easy one, but it still threw me off. But I'm, I'm just giving you an example of how they twist the questions around. So um, yeah, that's my biggest tip. Secondly, um, you guys probably want to know what I used to study. So I did my notes and then I used the ESP like Edelman. Now it's called Red Ult Ultrasound Registry Review. That was really good because a few of the questions actually did come back from that. But again, that's also just information that they're throwing at you. It does have a few questions which came back. But those are like the simple probably 10 to 20 percent that was for me where you just know it and you're just like yep i remember that blah 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 but the rest was all like oh you had to like really put your brain <laughs> to work <laughs> because it was crazy but definitely definitely use one of those study guides one of those reviews because it does kind of help you to know how to answer questions in different ways diff um, like separate from how your program is used to asking you questions definitely definitely do not leave it for last minute like you can't spend a few days to study for this it's so much and as I said it's not straightforward so you have to have to have to like grasp everything know each concept inside out symptoms that the patient has like the questions are like, oh, a patient comes in, um, palpable mass in the abdomen, um, febrile versus afebrile. That should be a clue because febrile means they have a fever. So look look in the options for like something that has an inf um, one of them that has bacteria. Stuff like that. You know, you have to like link it because it's not straightforward at all. And they give you so much irrelevant information in the description too so you have to pick out what's what's like the actual you know <laughs> what's gonna help me answer this question because they have so many distractions in there that you can't focus on because it will throw you off so you have to link the relevant pieces then you'll get the answer but yeah that's what got me through the exam spend your time take your time um i i finished the program like may 1st and I have taken both of them. I took both of them by the second week in May. The last one was the 23rd of May. So, but I started studying from like April because, you know, we're, we've been in this season of, you know, staying home. So I had time to just focus on studying. But I really put, put work in like consistent, like hard studying, like for the... The last week in April and then all of May up until I took the exams so yeah so the three things just to review definitely quality over quantity yes go through the practice exams but don't focus only on that like definitely get the concepts in um, and then don't don't take forever and I would totally recommend Edelman review because that was that was good it was a good refresher especially if you don't want to go through your thousands of pages of notes and textbooks like it was very concise and straight to the point and it helped as a good refresher but if you really didn't pay attention in class which is what i'm getting to next then you can't use edelman because it's very concise um the reason why Edelman got me through is because i paid attention in class throughout the years and certain concepts just you know they stuck in my head so I was able to recall a lot of the information by simply refreshing everything but if you didn't pay attention during class and you just barely swept by during your test then you're gonna have to like really sit down and go over that information in order to do well on this test but that's my advice everyone is different I'm sure there are many people out there that can just like um, breeze through the the notes and then BAM they got a good score on the test they passed blah 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 but I wouldn't recommend that to anyone because that's just like playing with fire to me. <laughs> These exams are expensive, like two fifty a piece, and they're multiple parts. You don't want to be messing around with that. So definitely try and pass it on the first go. And like, even if you pass, when you when you if you fail it on the first time, you have to wait ninety days before you take it again. And you don't want to do that, especially if you're trying to get a job, which is what I'm in the process of doing now. Imagine. I get a job 
I mean, imagine I get a job telling them, oh, I'm taking my registry, but then I failed. Mind you, some places give you a year to take the registry, but still, you don't want to, like, pass and have to wait 90 days to take it again. But, yeah, um, I'm just excited because I'm officially RDMS, RDCS, so... <laughs> Uh, that's a relief like a huge huge sigh of relief because I was so nervous in those exams echo was actually a lot easier but abdomen was a hot mess <laughs> I, I, I did well don't get me wrong but it was a hot mess like all my classmates said it was extremely hard like we were blown away like what's going on but yeah so If you guys have any questions, let me know for sure. Um, but yeah, hopefully those tips helped. And I'm just, you know, excited to move on to the next steps in this process. And I'm just happy it's all over. And I know you guys will do well as long as you believe and you, you know, study, put the work in, you will succeed. So yeah thanks for watching this video if you guys liked it definitely give it a like and subscribe 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 because it's free come on guys it's free anyways i'm gonna be coming in with more videos too like not just sonography i'm gonna be making lifestyle videos and stuff like that so i just need some ideas so if you guys have any ideas leave them down below and even ideas for sonography also leave them down below and or message me on one of my social media pages or something um but yeah so again like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys